All right, this is problem set number two. It's a short one, just a few conceptual questions. So problem, question number one asks, what, how does a hypothesis differ from a scientific theory? So a hypothesis is like, um, it's uh, we would call this tentative. It's kind of an idea or a suggestion as to why we observe what we observe. Um, and it's testable. Okay. Scientific theory is like a, uh, well, both of them are explanations of why things happen, but basically a scientific theory has been tested. So a hypothesis is a testable explanation. A scientific theory is an explanation that's been tested and been shown to be consistent. So how does a hypothesis become a theory? Um, through experiments. That's how a hypothesis becomes a theory. Um, you run experiments to test your hypothesis. If those everything comes back as expected, then you could promote that to being a theory. All right, how are energy and work related? Um, well, they have the same units. They're both in joules. Okay, energy, however, um, is like, we could say, a capacity to do work. Whereas work is one way to exert energy, and that's um, applying a force over a distance. Okay, and then let's explain the difference between potential and kinetic energy. Um, so kinetic energy has to do with the energy of when something has motion, there's energy involved with that. And then potential has to do with um, position. So if we take a pendulum, or I like the example of like a snowboarder and a half pipe, right, the snowboarder could be right here. snowboarding okay but they could also be right here snowboarding okay so if we're at this point right when the snowboarder peaks okay the snowboarder is not moving so it has zero kinetic energy but it has a lot of potential energy because of gravity because of its location it has a lot of potential to get moving right so right here uh, we could say kinetic energy equals zero, potential energy equals high. Here, though, as we get to the bottom, if you were to stop moving, gravity would not do anything with the snowboarder here at the bottom. So the potential energy here um, is zero, whereas at this point, the snowboarder is moving faster than anywhere else in the half pipe, right? So the kinetic energy is high. And that's turns to potential kinetic energy. So again, that's a quick one, just a couple of, um, a little bit of background.